welcome back to Search That. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Joe Beretta. You stole my intro. Oh, I'm sorry. Classic woman. We are living in the age of planetary discovery. Humans just can't stop finding exoplanets all up in the big black void, which isn't so much a big black void as it is a continuously expanding universe filled with stars and planets and other things that we don't understand. It also has no edge. And we keep finding stuff because humans have recently amped up the search, breaking out fun toys like the High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher, or HARPS for short, and the Kepler Space Telescope. These mega telescopes are pointed at stars and astronomers are able to detect wobbles in stars generated by the gravitational pull of planets orbiting around them. And a very exciting wobble was just detected that may turn out to be very Earth-like. 42 light years away is a star called the HD 40307. God, that's a good name. Give that planet uh, namer a medal. It's a really good name. I thought he was going to go 40306. I know. Ah! He switched it up. No! And from what astronomers can tell, it supports a six-planet system. Three of those exoplanets are super-Earths. Are super-Earths. They named it Earth because nobody would say Earths plural ever. Earths. <laughs> but one of these super Earths, HD 40307G, is super special because it orbits within the star's Goldilocks zone. The Goldilocks zone is the orbital space in which life as we know it could exist. We say life as we know it because we only know life as we know it. I mean, there could be so many other ways for life to exist, but for us, water and air. It's also known as the habitable zone. It's not too close and it's not too far. It's just right it's for the possibility of hosting liquid water. This is where the new planet and any moons it hosts is kicking it. The other five planets are way too close to the star and likely way too hot. The star itself is smaller than Earth's star and less luminous, but the super planet is closer to the star than the Earth is to the sun. 56 million miles compared to the Earth's 93 million miles. The planet is also seven times the size of Earth, but as of now, astronomers are unsure if it boasts a rocky surface or a surface closer to that of Neptune. And 42 light years is excitingly close because our future kick-ass telescopes might be able to actually observe the thing. And that kind of thing just kind of blows this little brain into a million tiny baby pieces. It's all over the floor. It's really oh no, pick it up. Disgusting. Oh look, that's seventh grade. Here's that one time in gym class. Don't need that. One time, the one time. Another attribute about HG 40307G that is tantalizing? Well, this baby isn't tidal locked to the sun like the moon is to the earth and rotates freely like the earth as it does its orbit dance. This exposes all sides of the planet to the star, creating a day-night cycle, increasing the chance for Earth-like conditions. It's also got a 320 Earth day orbit period, which is close to ours, which may not matter in regards to life, but is similar, which is nice. Yeah. Because humans are scared by things that are different. I don't like different things. Props go to these guys for discovering the planet. Couldn't say the names. Could Absolutely not. Yeah. So obviously since HD 40307G isn't the sexiest name, what would you name this super earth? Let us know in the comment section down below. Do the whole like and subscribe dance for us. Click the annotation for more video news and go to sourcefed.com for all sorts of news coverage. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. Mm, what's this one? Oh, that's the time I didn't get that thing for Christmas. Aww. No, that's okay.